S-K-I. And your title? Senior Police Officer. Tell us a little bit about the case you guys are investigating. Um, yesterday morning on February 2nd, approximately 9.19 a.m., Austin Police Department had received multiple calls on a vehicle that was possibly throwing kittens out of the window as it was going down the street. The officers did make the scene. Also made contact with all the complainants involved. They were unable to verify whether or not the cats were actually thrown. They did find the two, the two kittens. Uh, both were deceased on the scene. The, uh, we have no suspect description, no vehicle description. The Austin Police Department takes all crimes against animals very seriously. We're asking the public if anyone witnessed this, saw this, or knows anything at all to call the Animal Cruelty Tip Line at 512-978-0523. The case is open pending any other investigation leads at this time. So there was more than one person complaint, more than one person called to say they saw the kittens on the road? There was more than one. Our officer was able to make uh, contact with the two that was documented. As far as other than that, I'm unaware of at this time. So about two calls, so two different drivers called? Yes, ma'am. And the, nobody actually, did anybody actually see somebody throwing them out of a car? They just th saw them flying? Right. Both the statements given to the officer on scene, they said they didn't, there was no actual statement about we saw the cats fly from the vehicle. Do you know in what area? Yes, it was in the 700 block of the southbound service road of South Mopac. And so you said that you, the officers found two cats. Did they find them actually on Mopac or near Mopac? Because one of the one of the complaints took one of them. Correct. One of the cats was on on the roadway still. Uh, one of the complainants actually took the cat. Unfortunately, it was still unable to survive. But he was trying to get it taken care of. Just unable. Unfortunately, it didn't make it. So did the officers see two additional cats on the road? That's no, two, two total. Okay. And so the. Just to be clear, the other one that they found that was in the in the roadway, where was that one located? They were both in a, about the 700 block of Mopac. The only thing was the suspect, or the I'm sorry, the complainant took one of the cats with him on his way to work, trying to save it. The other was still on scene. Because he saw one that got up and ran away. So so he saw one that ran, and then but. I, and then the one that he took, but then are you saying there's a third one that you guys saw in the roadway? The only thing we have documented is the two total. I'm not sure if the one that he saw run away is the one he took. I don't know at that point. Okay. So one of them you guys got was dead. It was on the road. Correct. Yeah. And then he had the other one. Correct. Right. So that's what I guess I'm trying to get clarification because you guys found one dead in the road. Right. Okay. But he saw one run away. So that's why I'm trying to figure out maybe if that's the same cat or maybe there were three, um, a total of three cats opposed to... Two right. Cats. All I can go with is the officer's report, and it, all it listed was the two cats that were spoken of. And they were very young cats. They were both kittens. Yes. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I mean, obviously, you know, he thinks that somebody may have thrown them out because they just kind of appeared in the roadway out of nowhere. Has this ever happened before? You ever? This is the first time that I'm aware of it. Um, it's has not happened in the immediate past, um, but still, whether or not it's throwing them out or abandoning. Them, that still is a crime, and the Austin Police Department is still going to investigate it either way. You know, some people with animal shelters have said, but there is a chance maybe the cats were hiding in a car, perhaps, and fell out. I mean, do you feel like that's reasonable, or do you feel like it it tends more, the evidence points more towards someone actually abandoning No, that, that's definitely reasonable, and that's why we're asking if anyone out there knows anything or saw anything to call us and let us know so we can investigate it how it should be investigated. So there's all, several possible ways they could have gotten on the roadway. Yes, ma'am. Okay, just to clarify, so these happen in the main lanes of Mopac? It's service road, so the access oh, okay. road of Mopac. Oh, so it's on the access road. Yes. Okay, so that's different. So I, we actually spoke to one of the one of the men who called, and he actually saw them in the main lanes. So. Did you guys the, 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 the location listed by the officer in his report was on the service road. Okay, and, and that's for the ones that he physically saw in the road. That's what he put as the location and that's put where he put as he contacted the complainants. So that's where we have him as listing the location of the incident. How if someone did throw these cats out in the roadway, what how severe is this? Uh, it's a class A misdemeanor, which is the highest misdemeanor possible. Um, you can be placed in jail for up to one year and have a four thousand dollar fine. We'll take one more question. Good? 
Thank you.